Be ready. Get after it now. Get after it now. You're clear. What's up, everybody? The Setup Man coming at you today from Darlington in test session. Driving a cup car, and this is going to be a um, custom setup video. I had previously done a Darlington video and ran a 28.9. With this one, I have ran a 28.8, actually a very low 28.8, a 28.815. So it's about a tenth quicker, but it really, really, really shines on the long run. I did a fuel run comparing this setup to my old one, and I ran a full fuel run on four times wear, which is, I think, 18 laps. Um, this setup and my old one, and not only was it quicker in the short run, but over the course of a full run, it was something like almost four seconds or maybe just over four seconds quicker. So it really uh, performs well in the long run, which I'm very proud of. Um, I would like to get within a, about a 28.9 or so. Uh, if I can do that while I am talking, I'd consider that uh, a pretty good lap. But let's see if I can get a 28.9. If I can do that, then we will uh, talk about how I get around Darlington. And then I will take it into the garage and we will talk about the setup. So let's see if I can get a 28.9 on video here. I gotta tell you, I got 28.9s all day long, but struggled to get the 28.8s and then boom, I hit the right combination and, and hit not just a 28.8, but it seemed like a pretty low 28.8. Good. Let's see if the stopwatch is going to be kind to you. 28.9. That's within about a tenth of my best. So, oh, wrong button. I am going to take it and be pretty happy with that. Um, let's see. Well, I'll talk about turn three coming up here. Darlington is extremely tough. It's very bumpy. It's very narrow. Um, there's just no margin for error. What I try to do is when I am getting into about the, it's hard to tell exactly, but in the middle part of all these cones, so there is one cone there, and then if you back it up, now you see two, three, four, five, that's your countdown to the corner. About the middle of this, I want to start lifting and just barely tapping the brakes, and what I really want to do is I want to start angling the car to the bottom. And I tap the brakes and then probably about along in here, probably just past that green uh, traffic light on the outside, I lift and try to let the thing roll. And as I let it roll, maybe I'm a little deeper before I lift. As I let it roll, it's going to come up the pavement a little bit and more up here. If I've hit everything really, really good, I'll be able to get back in the gas about here. Now these all look like the same, just red, white, red, white, sections here along the wall but if you'll notice up ahead of me it, there is a br big long white section that says darlington raceway if i hit it absolutely perfect it seems like about uh the white section before you get to the one that says darlington right here about here i can get back on the throttle okay so if i can get back on the throttle there and and be just hammered down with it i've, ha I've got a pretty good lap going when I start getting back on the throttle, I want to bring it down a little bit closer to the white line, and then I let it drift out by the white line as I am coming down to the start-finish line, and then obviously we're just wide open all the way down the um, straight stretch. When we get into turn one, what I am trying... Oh! We don't want to do that. What am I doing? Okay. We got the same orange cones. And what I am trying to do is a, somewhere between the, this cone here, the one cone that's right in front of me, and the two cones is where I kind of, I lift. I maybe am just in the throttle a little bit, but I am probably lifting to where I am maybe 10 or 20% in the throttle. I want to angle it to where I'm getting down to the bottom of the track here. And it's really hard to see when you're going slow, but it's almost like there's a, a dip here. And this is the dip. And then right about here, you'll feel yourself coming out of the dip. I want to be in the throttle again before I get out of the dip. So I want to be hard on the throttle, and I want to let it come to the top. And then this is, to me, the most tricky part is the exit of turn two here. So what I'm going to try to do is I come around here. I'm up near the top. 
but then I cut the wheel and want to get a little bit down here by this white line and when I get by the white line what I'm trying to do is basically at this point as you're getting down here I want to be starting to straighten the car up I've kind of have have gone from the top to the bottom and I've got the car kind of angled to go down the straightaway so I'm straightening it up and I'm actually trying to straighten the wheel up I'm not turning it as hard and then there is a bump or patch or something that just if you hit it wrong it will just about wreck you um, even on new tires but it helps if you hit it going straight and not turning so that's why I'm trying to get the car turned and rotated before I get out of the corner and that way I am more or less hitting that bump straight on instead of hitting it while I'm turning. Now if you don't hit it right, you're going to have to lift a little bit because if you're going to be turning that wheel and hit that bump really hard, you're going to just go sideways. So that is kind of how I get around Darlington. Um, let's go check out this setup. Uh, let's see. So um, I have started doing things a little bit different. I went a lot higher on the front weight and wedge here. And this is kind of a new philosophy I'm trying, and it seems to work better. It's not tremendously quicker on a short run, but it seems to work even better on the long run. Um, springs, the front springs are pretty normal. The rear springs, I used to always run that left spring at 500. Now I'm starting to even those uh, rear springs out. And again, this is part of kind of a different philosophy on the setups kind of aggressive on the camber but felt that the car was pretty tight and needed to get the the car to turn a little better and the tire wear is not bad at darlington at all which is unlike real life i mean it, in real life darlington is one of the worst tracks on tire wear but um got pretty aggressive on the camber and at the end of the run your tire light isn't even on here so you can kind of be aggressive on some of these settings because you don't have to worry about saving the tires uh next up is um the sway bar this is part of the new thing i'm doing i'm trying to get really high on the sway bars and really high on the track bars uh it's kind of a different setup philosophy and it seems to work a little bit better on long runs like i said it's only a little quicker on the short runs but i went up to a 675 on the sway bar i didn't quite max out the track bars i was at a 14.25 um i started off at a 15 and it was just too loose and i had to back it down but the three big things that I'm kind of changing in the setup philosophy are all right here. Um, I'm trying to get way higher on the sway bar, way higher on the track bars. Now going up on the sway bar makes it a lot tighter. Going up on the track bars makes it looser. So you've kind of got to balance those things out here. And then I'm starting to run a much, much lower wheel lock. Usually I'm running a, uh, anywhere from an 8 to a 12, but this is a 5. Now, if you are on a controller, I've been told that you need to bump that up. I don't know. I don't play on controllers. But if you're having trouble getting around here and you're on a controller, I would say bump that wheel lock up to 8 or even 10 and see see how the car does. Um, other than that, uh, this gearing. This gearing. Got to talk about the gearing for just a minute, and then I will, I will be quiet. The gearing. Uh, this seems like a, a really short gear for Darlington, a 3.6. Um, I think the default is like a 3.5 or 3.55. Uh, maybe I, I slow down too much in the corners or don't roll them well or whatever, but I needed this gear to be able to get drive off the corners. Um, it helps me keep my engine RPMs up. And, <laughs> excuse me, like I said, I can drive off the corner much better with this gear. I know some people, uh, or not some people, but I would guess some people will run, want to run like a 3.55 or even 3.50 if you're a better driver than I am and you can roll the corner better, maintain your momentum better, you'll want to go um, to a 3.55 or even a 3.50. If you go down to a 3.55 or 3.50, you can go up one click in tape, but it was getting a little too hot to run tape at 50% with the gearing that I had. Um, that is about it. This is a brand new setup. I hope you guys like it. Try it out. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, the Summer Heat Showdown or Summer Heat Series, whatever they're calling it, it starts tomorrow. So this setup is out just in time for that. I um, hope it works well and you guys turn lots of fast laps with it. Uh, with that, I will end this like I always do. Tell you guys, have a great day and thank you for all.